What's your book about? It is about a guy who is a knight in shining armor, except he lives in a world where knights don't exist anymore. My character, he's working real hard to just fit in. Yo, Pop, bet you didn't have to push no dollies at your old job, did you? Guilty as charged. He's not fancy. He rides the bus. He doesn't even have a car. And nothing special until he is. Open the register up right now. Give me that ring. No, oh, it was my mother's. It's OK, Jenny. My ring. When you meet him in the movie, you don't know what this guy does. He wakes up at the same time every night and goes to the same diner. He's just in his little area. He keeps himself quiet. And then you realize that he helps people. I'm Terry. Bob. He meets a innocent young girl who he finds out is being abused. Then he decides to do something about it. He's looking for the good in everybody. Everybody's got a little bit of good in you. He's going to give you an opportunity to fix the problem that you've caused. I mean about a girl. For what? Her freedom. <laughs> I'm offering you a chance to do the right thing. Take it. That's the only one you're going to get. He's not a typical action character. It's about even in the playing field for everyone. Call your boss and tell him to shut down his operation. We're going out of business, closing down shop. Please accept these parting gifts. You know, you're just trying to do better. And I think people will relate to that. You see yourself in this guy. Even the worst of the worst, they have a little light in them somewhere, maybe. And if you don't, then you have to deal with the equalizer. You pay on time, no more problems. The money you took, maybe you should give it back. <laughs> Why would we do that? 